Welcome back to Simply Money. Today, we're going to talk about why it's so important to invest in order to safeguard your money. So many people think investing is dangerous and that you'll lose your money, when in fact, putting it into the safe savings account, you're actually losing your money and the value of your money. Stay with me now as we look into why investing is so crucial to keeping your money's buying power and to make your money grow. So let's start with the S&P 500. Again, you can invest in a lot of different ways in the stock market, but for simplicity and for beginners, a simple index fund of the S&P 500 like SPY is a great way to diversify and to get involved in the stock market with a great return. The S&P 500 for the last five years has returned 15.7% annually. That's a great return. 15, almost 16%, we'll just say 15% for simplicity, 15% return year over year. Again, some years it was way higher, some years it was lower. And it's those lower years that make people scared to invest in the stock market. They see a negative 20 year and they think, oh, I'm not going to invest, I'll lose all my money but they don't realize that you have your positive 30 or positive 40 years that balance that and keep that average at 15%. Let's look a little longer. 10 years, the average has been 15.6%. So basically five and 10 years have been identical on what the S&P 500 would return. Again, let's just say 15%. Now let's look a little longer because 15% is high. It's been some really good years, even though we've had the pandemic, We've had the uh, inflation of 2022, the stock market drawdown, all these negative things, and it's still averaged 15% over the last five and 10 years. So over 20 years, it's averaged 11.1%. That's more of a normal long-term range that you should be looking at in the stock market. 10 to 12% is not unreasonable in good mutual funds, good index funds, good ETFs. Those are diversified. They bring great returns over long term. Again, you're invested in the stock market for long term. You can't look at even one year return because you could have a bad year. You're investing that money for long term. So let's look at where people like to go. They say, well, I'm, I'm too scared. I'm going to put my money in the savings. We're going to look at recently as of right now, it's 2024. You can get 5%, maybe 5.5% at a savings account. And you can put that in the bank. And you can get that on a consistent basis. And you think, well, that's good. It's safe. It beats inflation. Right now, inflation is 6%. So actually, it doesn't beat inflation. But on average, inflation is about 3%. But here's what people aren't thinking about. Right now, interest rates at the bank are 5 maybe 6% if you're lucky. But right now, interest rate was hitting 6 and 7%. See, that's the difference. When interest rates go up, is because inflation is going up in the savings. So people put it in that safe account and they think, oh, it's okay, it's safe, and it's going to get that 5%. Let's look at savings accounts over five years have got, on average, 0.19%. Now, that's the average of five years because you got to remember, savings accounts aren't locked in. Even if you go and lock in on a CD, okay, you lock in on a CD for 5% for the next five years. Inflation has averaged 4.08% over the last five years. So in essence, you're getting 1% gain on your money versus if you had invested in the S&P 500 over those five years, 15.7%, 4% inflation, you've gained 11.8% interest. You're losing out by just keeping your money safe. Now, it is a little better than putting it in a can and burying it in your backyard, but you're not beating inflation, so you're losing buying power year after year. Let's look at the savings for 10 years. It hasn't been any better. The average savings account has returned 0.13% year over year. Again, basically nothing over the last 10 years. We look at right now and think, oh, it's safe. It's 5%. But three years ago, you couldn't touch 5%, you're lucky to get 0.5%. But now, because inflation's high, and what's inflation been over those 10 years that your savings has gotten 0.13%, inflation has been 
2.8%. Again, you're losing value. You're losing 2.5% year over year of buying power. So in 10 years, you've lost 25% of your buying power by just putting that money in the bank and leaving it there. Investing is important not only to preserve your buying power, but to grow your money. Now let's look, because I always talk about long-term, let's look at a 20-year difference. Savings accounts, 0.64. Now that's a little bit better, because that has the 80s that reached and peaked a little bit over 13%. That was great days when you could put it in, lock it in for 13%, but it didn't last. The average of 20 years is in 0.64%. And what has inflation been over the last 20 years? 2.56%. You factor in 2.5% for inflation, you're getting half a percent of interest. You're losing 2% over the last 20 years of just keeping your money safe. Where over 20 years, you could have been gaining 11% in the stock market. So that's a net gain of 8.5%. 8.5% average of gaining buying power instead of losing 2% or 2.5% of buying power. That's why it's so important to invest. Now, I'm not saying don't keep any money in a savings account. That would be stupid because you want to keep an emergency fund in the savings account, somewhere accessible. That's for if you lose a job. That's for if you get ill and you can't work or you have medical bills that you don't have insurance for. If you have some sort of accident and your car needs to be replaced, something, it's an emergency fund to take care of those things that are emergencies that you don't plan for. You should have three to six months worth of living expenses in a savings account accessible at any moment. You don't care if it's not keeping up with inflation because it's not there to gain money. It's there to simply hedge against emergencies. And then you can keep money in a savings account or put it in a CD for things like buying a new car. Begin saving for it now so you don't have to go into debt. So keeping some money is okay. It's actually wise to do that. But putting all your money there is not wise. You're losing buying power. Watch a video up above on the importance of seeing the big picture of the stock market because one day does not make a good investment. It's long-term. And people look at the short term, they get scared when the market goes down and they sell out. They're like, I'm not going to invest. And their fear is keeping them from truly building wealth. That's it for today. Thanks for joining me. Hit the like and subscribe button so we can get more of these videos out to you. And we'll see you next time on Simply Money.